Hello, this is BK42. Welcome to another electric bike review. Today I want to present the Freego DK200 e-bike. Another cool retro moped style e-bike. This is a 1200 watts electric bicycle with a large 48 volts 20 ampere hour battery. Very similar to the Super 73 bike. It's marketed as 1200 watt motor, but actually, I think it peaks at 1200 watts. I don't know the power output of the motor, as it's not mentioned anywhere, but I believe it's a 700 watt motor. If it is a 750 watt motor, it would be legal in the US, but it's not legal in the Europe yet, so I wouldn't recommend using this bike for road riding. The one size steel frame is lightweight and well welded. Suitable for people between 106 and 195 centimeters tall, and the recommended maximum load is 120 kilograms. As for size, the seat post is fixed and not adjustable, but repositioning the rider in the saddle gives a whole new ride feel. One of the first thing you will notice in this bike is the integrated giant plastic headlight. It looks good and it's bright. It looks like a motorcycle light when riding in the dark. Check this out. The wheels are 20 inch aluminum wheels with fat tires. The 20x4 all terrain tire is great for snow, beach, and off road adventures. The plastic fenders are sturdy and helpful on rainy days, and they look cool. Looking at the handlebars, the left lever controls the mechanical front brake, and the right lever controls the hydraulic rear brake. Yes, that's what I said, it comes with a rear hydraulic brake only. Frigo, if you're watching this video, please make sure to have front and rear brakes hydraulic in the next bikes. It has two 160mm rotors, the rear brake is soft to push and powerful stopping the bike shortly when used. To make the bike safer, the brakes are equipped with motor inhibitors that cut off the motor power when the brakes are applied. On the left is a small LCD display that basically controls all settings on this bike. There isn't much to configure here, but you can change metrics and other small settings as needed. The Frigo website gives you all details on how to set up the bike if you need it. Unlocking the top speed is also featured in their videos. If you press and hold the plus button, it will turn the light on. And of course, pressing it again turns it off. Another cool feature is the rear braking light that works with the headlights on and off as well. On the right side is the half throttle. Since this is a single speed bike, the throttle is certainly required. I believe this bike is designed to be used as a scooter. That means less pedaling is required. Frigo has incorporated a throttle, a powerful motor and a huge battery just for that. The 43cm seat looks great, but it isn't really soft. But it's quite comfortable though. When you are ready, simply toggle the on and off power switch on the side of the battery. Then press and hold the M button on the display for a few seconds. Now you're good to go. Select the pedal assist mode you want and accelerate using the throttle or simply starting pedaling to activate the motor. The pedal assist reacts fast, with almost no delay starting the motor. But when you stop pedaling, there is a small delay cutting off the power. Let's talk about the motor. Frigo sells it as a 1200 watt motor, but to compare to my other e-bikes, I think this is a peak in value. I feel like I'm riding in a 750 watt motor. There is a good torque and the maximum speed after the speed limit is unlocked, it's about 50 km per hour at level 5. The motor isn't the quietest I've seen and it can easily climb the seat slopes. The huge 48 volts 20 ampere hours battery is removable, so it can be unlocked, removed and charged elsewhere, or if you prefer, it can be charged while in the bike. It takes 8 to 10 hours to charge and gives a range of about 65 km on a single charge. To be honest, riding all the way at the level 5 with maximum speed will reduce the range to about 30 to 35 km. Of course, the range depends on the rider's weight, size and riding style. Sure, you can ride this bike home when the battery dies, but let's face it, riding without power isn't great. The frame design and one speed makes cycling very uncomfortable. The bike weighs around 27 kilograms, and this amazing retro moped style bike isn't suitable for long distance pedaling. Additional batteries can be purchased from Frigo's website. I've seen people complaining about their batteries dropping out while riding the bike. To avoid it, insert the battery correctly. Push it in until it clicks and lock the battery with the included key. That's it. 
The front suspension has no adjustment options and it's too soft for my standards. I would love to have more resistance here. It bumps and jumps a lot. Despite being a new e-bike, the DK200 does not offer app control or external connectivity. The DK200 comes with a convenient phone holder and a small bell as a gift. The steel frame is sturdy and the welds on this unit are well done. This is a good bike, but I hope Frigo will improve it a bit in the future. For example, offering aluminum frames, better hand grips and even making it a 7-speed bike. There are links for the American and European websites in the description below. It sells for $1,399 and €1,399 at the time of recording this video. The bike comes with a 2 years warranty. Shipping to the EU and US is fast and free. If your bike needs repair, Frigo will provide the defective parts during the warranty period. As always on this channel, you pay less for a new bike. Use the code BK42FREEGO to save $100 on the Frigo DK200. The DK200 comes in a sturdy box and it's easy to assemble. Watch the unboxing and assembly video here. I received the bike without any damages or scratches, but there was a minor problem with the hydraulic brake. There was air in the line and I had to fix it. It's a simple fix shown on their tutorials. But I've never had an e-bike sent to me like that before, where I've needed to do that prep work. But the problem is, a lot of people won't make it on their own. I hope Frigo listens to me and improves their quality control as well. Personally, I think it's worth the money. So, if you are in the market for a new electric bike, you should consider the Frigo DK200. I honestly recommend this bike to anyone looking for a budget moped-style e-bike. Not a perfect e-bike, but a very good option considering the price. Before I end this video, I would like to share the pros and cons table. That's all for today. Let me know what you think about this bike in the comments below. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Comment, like and subscribe. Cheers!